Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some advanced routing for the Behringer P16 personal mixers using the Behringer wing and multiple stage snakes. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna give you a scenario that maybe a lot of people don't have, but it's a pretty cool feature using this setup of equipment that I think is worthy of talking about. So the Behringer P16 mixers are limited to 16 channels for your band. That can be a little limiting at times, but I'm gonna give you a scenario where you can really maximize those 16 channels for different groups of musicians and singers to kind of get a lot more bang for your buck. So to make this work, we need, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the Behringer wing. You need multiple stage snakes and you would have multiple Behringer P16s, okay? So the scenario would be, we have a very big band, we have a lot of vocalists. Let's say we have eight vocalists, full band, full drum kit, running tracks, click and guides. We need all this to feed back to the band and 16 channels just isn't enough. So in this scenario, let's say we have four vocalists with wireless in-ear packs. I'm mixing those at front of house. I can send them any channels they need, no problem. But I only have four of those. So I have four more vocalists that I need to uh, get ears to and I have P16s for them. So we have a group of vocalists using wireless in-ears. We have a group of vocalists using P16s and then you have your band who's also using the P16s. Now, your band doesn't need access to all eight vocalists. They don't need a perfectly blended eight vocal, eight part harmony mix in their ears. They just need to hear who's leading, might be the first couple vocalists. So we're gonna set that up and then your vocalists do though need to hear all eight, but they may not care about some of your auxiliary instruments. So we're gonna set up two different P16 mixes for these two different groups of people you do have to have two stage snakes that are hooked up independently. So what I mean is from the Behringer wing to the stage, I'm gonna have dedicated ethernet lines going from AESA and AESB. So AESA is gonna to go to my first snakes A port. AESB is gonna to go to my second snakes ethernet port. Out of uh, my first snake, I'm gonna have my vocalists group of P16s. Okay, so those are gonna come out of A, out of the alternate port of, of my, the snake. Now to the alternate, alternate port of my second snake, I'm gonna have all of the P16s plugged in for my band. I can do separate input routing of each when I have it plugged in this way. So if we go to outputs and I go to A, outputs uh, 33 through 48 of my routing are connected through the alternate port of this first snake channels one through 16. So again, on my output A, channel 33 out corresponds to channel one on my P16. So I can set this up. The first eight channels can be my eight vocalists, okay? Then I can put the primary instruments that those vocalists need to hear. So maybe that's acoustic, keys, maybe they want some drums, they obviously need the click and guide channel. So I'm gonna put all those in, routing, uh, out of the P16s of that first snake, okay? So now we're gonna go output routing of B. Very, very similar. So on my output routing of B, channels 33 through 48 correspond to the alternate port of this second snake that go to the P16. So now this is plugged into my second snake. So channel 33 out of B corresponds to channel one on the P16, but this is different routing than this snake. So in this case, I'm only gonna give them access, this is the band now, I'm gonna give them access to the first four vocalists because that's all they need to hear, but then I'm gonna give them every single instrument that I have, including the tracks, including the click and guide, and that's what that band would need. This is a really cool setup if you have this equipment to really maximize those 16 channels on the P16 into two different groups of people using two stage snakes that are connected independently. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.